as you know, we're having a baby. Well, Ali's having the baby. Our last uh, two children, we had a big stockpile of uh, pre-made meals. Uh, this time we haven't gone down that road, but we have gone down a different road. So stay tuned, We've got something a little bit different. Come along for the ride. All right, well look at what showed up on the front door this morning. I'd seen them being advertised, I'd seen them in Woolworths. I thought, this looks interesting. Maybe we should give this a little bit of a go. Not sponsored at all, paid for it ourselves. Mixed reviews. Let's open it up, let's have a look. Let's see what uh, what we're in for. A little bit of an unboxing on this channel, which is uh, a little different. Let's have a look, so big box, quite heavy. Uh, I think there's 24 meals in here. It's about $150. There was a $20 off voucher, which is probably why uh, I jumped on board. All right, let's have a look here. So that's what we've got here. It's a, an insulation type wrap, so let's open that up. It's actually quite a big bag, so you probably can't see that. I'll grab the camera and we'll have a little bit of a look. All right, let's get right in here and have a little bit of a look. So what have we got? We've got, uh, we've got a big block of ice. I believe these are non-toxic. Uh, they're safe. Recyclable, so that's good for the environment. That's certainly kept things pretty cold. We'll put that to the side, and here we are. So, what have we got? They look like they're in a little bit of a each individually uh, packaged. Uh, bangers and mash, 350 grams, little container there. Apparently, these can store in your freezer for 18 months. So I'm, I'm not sure how I'd go with that, but um, nonetheless, that's what the that's what they're claiming. So they don't look a bad size. And that's our bangers and mash. I'll get a few out, we'll have a little bit of a look and uh, see what we've got. I think there are a few double ups. I just bought uh, one of their pre-made boxes. And they decide what they put in there for you. So we'll go through them in just a moment. Box just keeps on going. All right. Thank you, Dakes. That's them. Let's get rid of that box. Let's have a little bit of a look at what we've got. So what do we've got? We've got uh, a beef taco bowl. We've got some Smoky Mountain meatballs. Uh, naked Parmigiana. Uh, another meatballs variety. Some more Smoky Mountain. Bit of a deep south chili. I did see a bit of a report on this one and uh, look, it didn't get great reviews uh, on the old interwebs, but um, look, each to their own. And we'll see how that comes up. We've got a buttered chicken. We've got a bit of a pasta dish there. I'm not quite sure what that's all about. We've got some more meatball, holy meatballs, uh, bangers and mash. Uh, I'm keen to get into those. I think they're a bit of a favourite. We've got going nuts, so crunchy satay chicken and rice and green beans. Another one of those. Uh, a red Thai curry. It'll be interesting to see how that goes. The last Thai curry I think I had was in Thailand and it was going to burn a hole in the ozone layer. It was that hot. So uh, hopefully uh, they're not following that trend. What else have we got? Naked Parmigiana. Going nuts again. There's another buttered chicken. And another pasta. So that that's the box. That's what we've got. So um, I think we ended up with 24 meals for about $150. You got a little bit of a discount code. It's $14.95 for shipping. Never had one of these before. And we're going to give it a bit of a run. So these are going to go in our freezer and be dug out when uh, when we need a meal straight away. And we can share it and see how we go. Save the preparation. And also to give something else a bit of a go. Apparently these are supposed to be um, nutritionally balanced. Um, give you what you need. A good amount of um, carbohydrates, fats and protein. So I'm all for that. Running after kids, you need all of those things. As you know, uh, baby's not too far off. So um, we'll be tucking into these and I'll, uh, I'll do a bit of a report. I'll pick a few out. Okay, well here we go. Uh, we've got our core power foods uh, meals. Kids are away today, it's just Ali and I at home. We're gonna tuck into a couple of these and see what they're like. On the left, uh, we've got the butter chicken, which Ali requested. And on the right, the bangers and mash, 
and we'll see how they go. So they go into the microwave for six minutes each on high. You leave the lid on, I believe, take off the cardboard um, surround that you can see there, stand for two minutes, and then we'll come back and we'll um, we'll see what they're like. Right, let's open them up. We've got a little tab, a little tab just down in this corner, one on each side. Give that a little bit of a click. And that's what we've got. So we've got some peas, we look to have a bit of rice, and then we've got what uh, is the buttered chicken up the top there. It's still quite hot as you can see. Steaming things up a bit. Move across to the bangers and mash, the little corner tabs. Flick them off. They do have a warning that says be careful of the steam. Jeez, that doesn't look too bad, does it? What have we got? One, two, three, four little bangers in there. Some potato and some peas. So actually it doesn't look too too shabby at all. Anyway, we'll give them a bit of a test drive and we'll see what they're like. So here we are. I've had a little bit of the bangers and mash. Peas, a bit of potato and the uh, and the sausages. Uh, actually quite tasty, I don't mind that. Um, I'd be happy to have this one again. Over here, we'll sneak across and we've got the buttered chicken. A um, little bit light on the veggies with the buttered chicken, just the peas, the rice and the chicken. So we'll see how that goes and I'll give you a little bit more of an idea as we, as we go on. Just a couple of final things. I was happy with the bangers and mash. Um, got four sausages which I was really happy with. It heated up well. There's a little bit of gravy in there as well. I'd be more than happy to have these ones again. The chicken, still not too bad. Not a heap of veggies, that's probably the only thing, but for convenience and a meal with the carbohydrates, uh, your protein and your fats, you're, you're probably not going to go too far wrong. We could split the meal for the kids, they could have half and half or something to that effect. I think these normally retail about $9 or $10 at, uh, at Woolworths. I probably wouldn't pay full price for it, but they come on special pretty regularly, or you can go to the Core Foods website and order some through them which I think they're they got packs which are a little bit cheaper so um all right so here are our three core power foods meals we've got over here we've got the uh, holy meatballs lean beef meatballs with tomato sauce and wholemeal penne not sure if you can quite see that on the camera the pasta doesn't look ideal it's a bit dry but we'll give it a bit of a stir in and see how that works yeah about four meatballs in meatballs in there with some tomato sauce into the middle, we've got a, a red Thai chicken curry, Thai style red curry with broccoli. Looks like there's a piece of broccoli in there. Sugar snap peas, baby corn, and some white rice. So we'll let you know how that goes. We had a rice dish before, which wasn't too bad. And then the last one in the queue here is the naked parmigiana, which is still a little bit warm. You've got chicken, sweet potato mash, green peas, tomato sauce and, uh, and cheese. All right, so here we go. We've got a bit of a mixture of all three of those meals. A couple of uh, reviews. It's very dry. The pasta's a bit chewy. The chicken is very dry. The meatballs are dry. Not a great deal of veggies, which is a bit disappointing. I thought we were uh, onto a bit of a winner, but these three meals haven't lived up to their expectation. They certainly haven't lived up to um, the pack, so. We've got a few more to try, but that's our honest review at this stage. Everything's just a bit dry, and there's just not a lot of veggies in there. There's only three veggies. There's only three veggies? Yeah. What veggies are there? Um, broccoli, peas, and a baby sweet going to have in my bowl. Yeah. I think there's two pieces of broccoli for the meal, which is probably not really enough. Sweet corn, I think there was one piece. And a heap of peas. Peas are obviously um, readily available at the moment. Uh, the beef taco bowl not sure i'm that big on the presentation but there do look to be a few veggies in there and a bit of mince so we'll see how that one comes together into the middle as we go we've got the going nuts the uh, satay chicken beans rice and then on the right we've got uh pasta la vita chicken pasta baked with tomato sauce looks like there's a few veggies in there peas are getting a run again pasta looks a bit interesting we'll plate them up and we'll see where we go from there. Oh no, here we go. Here are our three meals plated up. You've got the uh, Mexican taco bowl. You've got the pasta and chicken. And then you've also got the satay chicken with beans. So 
we'll tuck into these and see what we can find out. One thing I did notice when I was serving them up was quite a bit of residual water in the bottom of the little containers. Obviously that comes with frozen meals. Here's the, uh, the beef taco bowl. Not too bad. It's okay. Mixed reviews from around the table. Some I like it. Good. We've got an I like it and we've got a I'll probably do it at home. At the satay chicken we've got some beans, some rice, some chicken. Once again not a whole lot of veggie varieties but um, we'll give it a bit of a go. It's spicy. Oh hang on early mail is that it is spicy yep. so spicy. stay tuned we'll see how that goes across the board. Satay chicken no it wasn't great at all I'm not sure what it was um, I'm not sure what I was expecting but that certainly wasn't it tasted very artificial. It wasn't like a peanut satay. Not a great deal of peanuts, as we've heard there. Yeah, look, not a big fan at all, but I suppose each to their own. But we're gonna move across to this guy now. Hopefully it can redeem itself. Right, a bit of a wrap up of our three dishes tonight. The first two I thought were pretty average. The third one, tomato-based pasta. The pasta wasn't freezer burnt or dry. I thought the chicken was okay too. Yes. Out of the three, that was the last one was probably the best one. Would I get them again? At this stage, no. I think you can do a bit of a better job at home. I get the convenience. I think going forward, we might leave it at that. I think um, the reviews probably aren't going to change a great deal. So uh, thanks for coming along for the ride of our core power foods box. And uh, we'll be back to some what's for dinners and some uh, grocery hauls uh, very shortly. Take care, guys.